Hello students! Welcome back! It is so good to see you! Ah, look! Guzman is back! Guzman, are you happy to see the kids? Yeah? I know! I'm happy to see them too! Um, so I hope you enjoy our lessons today. Please remember that I will ring the bell when it's time for us to move on to the next thing. This is part one. I'm probably doing two parts today. This is part one. Um, first, I, would, I have a mindfulness song I will do my best to play for you. A little bit of a hard song, but I'm going to do my best. Um, please take this time to have uh, a nice break. You close your eyes, relax, bring your attention right into this lesson, and just simply listen to the song. That's all you have to do. Okay, here we go. Ready, Guzman? He's ready. Okay. <clears throat> Take a deep breath. Hmm. Thank you. So, tell me what you thought about the song. Guzman. Guzman. We have to listen. We're listening. Guzman. Did you like it? Yeah, it's a nice song. Um. Did it remind you of anything? Did any? Did you think about maybe something you've been doing? How did it make you feel? Did it make you feel happy or not so happy? Good. Great. Yeah? Nice. <clears throat> I'll tell you that this song is called Fly to the Moon. It was written in 1954. Four, long time ago. Um, it's kind of a famous song. It has words that are quite lovely. 
and in the chorus, fly me me to the moon and let me play among the stars. Let me see what spring is like on Jupiter and Mars. In other words, hold my hand. In other words, darling, kiss me. Fill my heart with song and let me sing forevermore. Um, it's a love song, isn't it? It's another love song. So it's a lovely song. Thank you for listening. All right. Next, what I would like to do is have everybody, I'm going to give you a minute to do this. You need to go find something in the kitchen, uh, a wooden spoon or a plastic spoon or maybe a plastic cup. Maybe you have to ask your parents for this because what we're doing next, I need to have you find something you can make a little noise with so so we can practice some rhythms. So Guzman and I are going to stop and just wait about hmm, not long, 10 seconds, 15 seconds, and get up and go find something that can make a little noise. I think you can find something. Okay. And if you can't find anything, you can clap your hands. I didn't think of that. So if you're having trouble or I don't know what to find, we'll, we'll clap hands. Good. So again, in case you missed what I said, the other way we can do this this part is <laughs> simple, okay? But I thought maybe some of you might like to use something that you could take and beat it gently on a chair. That works too. All right, so this is rhythm and counting practice. I'm going to go first. I'm going to play a rhythm and I'd like you to play it back. Ready? Here we go. Here is the first rhythm. I'll play it one more time. Okay, let's do it together. One, two, ready, go. Two, 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 two. Ta. Ta. Good. What, what, what are we hearing there? Two eighth notes, a quarter note, and half notes. Ti ti ta, ti ti ta, half note, half note. Ti ti ta, ti ti ta, half note, half note. Uh, all right. You ready for another one? That one was a little, little hard, wasn't it? A little hard. Let's do another one. Um, and then it will be your turn. Okay? So here comes another one. Uh, all right, interesting. Half note, half note, rest, ta, ta. Half note, half note, rest, ta, ta. Okay, you ready? Either clapping or using your wooden spoons. One, two, ready, go. Half note, half note, rest, ta, ta. Good. Great. Your turn. Take a minute and think about it. Uh, come up with a nice rhythm. Could be half notes. Could be ta, ti, ti, ta, rhythm. Could have a rest. So, your turn and Gooseman and I are going to listen. All right? Go ahead. Yeah, great. Okay, it's going to be kind of hard for me to play it back to you because um, I don't know, I can only talk to you and not really, at least so far with our technology, I cannot hear you um, so far. Who knows what's coming, right? Um, I'm going to let you try one more of that. Just practice creating some rhythms. Ready? 
Ready, go. <laughs> nice job, Gooseman. Pretty good. Great. This is an activity I encourage you to keep working on at home. Think about our quarter notes and our eighth notes and our whole notes. Who remembers how many beats does a whole note get? How many beats a whole note? Looks like this round circle. Good. Four beats. All right. Very good. So that was good. I'm going to stop the recording and I'll be right back with part two.